Hey, it's Roger Roger. I'm back on that love theme. I wanted to talk to you today about how saying the word love, remembering if you scroll back to my other videos, you saw me doing the word love a hundred thousand times in 10 days. Now, I don't expect you to do that. I'm not saying you need to do that to change your life. I just want to do an experiment. And what I suggest you do is to say the word love a thousand times a day or a hundred times a day. Anything that's normal, that's more than you would normally say the word love. Now, I'm going to show you how to use the word love to heal bad memories. Yeah. This is about putting all the counselors and all the psychotherapists and psychologists out of business in the world because I'm giving it to you free. This, this technique is so powerful. All right, so I want you to think of a bad memory. Yeah, everyone's got bad memories. Think of a bad memory from your past. I mean, you probably got a few. You may have none. You may have thousands. Think of one particular bad memory that bugs you that sometimes just bubbles up now and then in your consciousness and it really you don't like. Okay. Now, as you're holding on to that bad memory, see what you saw, feel what you felt. Uh, hear what you heard and you know Think about the self-talk that's going through your head as you go around that bad memory There might be regret maybe sadness anger, whatever it is and now start saying the word love just start saying the word love non-stop love 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 and Just keep saying it saying it for five minutes That's usually enough time to do a thousand loves or however many times you want to do it You can use your clicker as I showed in other videos you can write little notches. You can set a timer on your phone for five minutes, your smartphone. So what will happen is, what will happen is, is that that bad memory will begin to change. Yeah, like the fears in the other video, the bad memory will begin to shrink and change. It has to, because you are mis mixing something with it. You are mixing a, a foreign element that wasn't previously in that bad memory with the bad memory. So you're mixing love with the bad memory. So what's going to happen is that bad memory is going to start shrinking and shrinking and shrinking until it becomes not a bad memory anymore. What's going to happen is the bad memory is actually going to change to be a positive memory. It's going to neutralize itself out because at our core, at our very essence as human beings is love. That's who we are as human beings. If we drop all the identities, color, creeds, religions, and all that kind of stuff, at the core of who we are is love. So engaging in love, which I believe is the most powerful force in the universe, it's who we are, it's what we're made of. You can neutralize any bad memory. Just try it yourself, do it. It may take time, depends on how you do it. It will. This will do it. And, and the reason I'm telling you this is because I want to give you this for free. I want to show you how you can use love to, to eradicate your bad memories, traumatic memories, you know, PTSD memories from combat. You can use, I'm going to do videos on that later, but that's how you can use love to neutralize all that stuff. Just focus on the memory and just say the word love. And what, what will happen is, is that memory will change. It will become a good memory, a positive and neutral memory. And then you can move on to the other hundred, you know, dozens, to hundreds and thousands of bad memories in your life and start neutralizing those using love. And it's free. The beauty is it's free. You don't need to go roll up in, some, in front of some counselor or therapist like me. You can just do it at home. You can take the time out to do it yourself. It absolutely works. It works 100% of the time. Just persist, persist, persist. It will do it every time for you. And eventually one day, you you know, you'll be out off medication <laughs> and one day, you know, and, and your life will be just hunky dory because you've infused so much love into it. Love will become, have, have become so much a part of who you are in your thinking that you'll just naturally apply it to any situation and to anyone. This is Roger Roger. Thanks for watching. Have an awesome day.